Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Fortnite Save the World. We're going to be going ahead and getting into this awesome game mode. Now, I normally play on PlayStation. It's uh, Captain Cowboy, but I'm unable to stream from PlayStation, and I also play on Xbox, so I'm just going to be uh, using my computer, which doesn't really perform as well to do these videos, but I'm going to try to give you guys some good content. So right now I want to talk to you guys about the skills. You have skills tree and you have a research uh, tree of different abilities that you can unlock and give you different bonuses for the game. And they do a lot of great things. So you'll start off in the skill tree and you just pretty much follow along the tree and they have different abilities. And the further along you go, the more abilities you can unlock, like you can upgrade the rarity and ability of your harvesting tool, unlock some survivor squads, different, and right here is where you will unlock your research tree, and that will allow you to be able to get more bonuses for the Ford, um, Fortnite, which will be your fortitude and all the other stuff like offense, research, and tech, so it spells out Fort, it's really smart on their end, I guess. Um, so we can bounce into skill tree. Pretty much, you want to go down the tree, and then it breaks off and gives you more abilities. You can see what it will unlock for you, depending on what route you go. So if you go down the building route, that's going to be specific to the construction, the constructor heroes. If you go up to ranged combat, that's going to be for your soldiers. And then if you go straight across, that'll just get you to the next tree. However, you need to unlock um, the end of the quests for Plank not Plankerton, um, the first survival area before you can get into the, ne the next skill tree. Down below, you'll have the Outlander skill tree, and then below that is the Ninja. Don't just go down the one route that you have for your, your hero and stop because there's other great things that you want to be able to unlock like right here is the building upgrade level so you can actually upgrade the power level and health of your buildings so this goes for all types of buildings your wood the brick or the steel buildings and all different types of those and it really allows you to get more health and a stronger defense base. Now you can do this twice and it'll allow you to upgrade it multiple times. So it's initially 10 resources for the first level, then it goes up to 20 to upgrade to the second level, and then 30 more resources to get it to the third level. So it's going to be a total of 60 resources per item. But I'll go ahead and show you shortly how to do some good defenses that will actually help give you more ability to protect yourself rather than just strictly upgrading it. Now you'll also see we have different things like the survivor squads and then you'll see like here this will be for defender slots and then we'll have different um, squad slots for your survivors and this is really how you will unlock most of your storm based power ability to upgrade to the next level. Um, so it's really important to try to go through and clear as much as possible because it will give you a lot of bonuses. Different fort, um, like the fortitude, offense, resistance, and tech items will also give you more bonuses and that will also play into your storm-based power. So it's really imperative to get all of these taken care of. Now, there's also expeditions. And expeditions that you can unlock the different slots in the skill tree to get that will use your heroes that you currently have and send them on expeditions of your choice to unlock more like crafting materials, resources, survivors, or traps. And it's a great opportunity to go ahead and get extra materials and ingredients that you need when you're not playing the game necessary because they take time to do. Now, as far as the research tree goes, you'll see that it breaks off into the different letters 
and there are different abilities. And you also see that there's some survivor squads. And here is a big one. This is backpack size, so this actually allows you to have more items in your backpack, more guns, more traps, more bullets. And it's really important to try to get these when you can, because it will allow you to have more weapons that you can pull from when you're in game. And the further along you go, the more expensive research or um, your skill trees become, but also allows you to be able to get more items. So if you see here, I can purchase resistance and this will then have a resulting increase in my storm based power level. So it's really important that you try to unlock a lot of these as they will increase your power level and allow you to also increase the power level of your party. Like if you saw here, fortitude, this is party fortitude. So this goes towards everyone inside of your party. And that will then be the parts that increase the power level of those that you play with. And this is also what increases your power level when you play with others. So that pretty much takes care of the skill tree. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Leave it in the comments or in messages. And hit the, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Hope everyone enjoyed.